Okay, hello, I'm here with Ivan, commercial officer from Every Matrix. So, Ivan, could you please uh, represent yourself and the company you're working for? Uh, hi, Malika, thank you for inviting us for this. First and foremost, it's a wonderful show. Thank you for coming. Yeah, and uh, we're enjoying it so far. Only It's been only a couple of hours now, but yes. we're already excited about it. So my name is Ivan, I come uh, from Every Matrix. I'm a senior commercial officer at Every Matrix and uh, basically we have a team of people here with a stand. Uh, and uh, Every Matrix is a pretty known company in the industry, but uh, just in a nutshell, we are uh, a pure B2B provider focusing on providing technical solutions to operators around the globe with offices in 10 different countries, about 700 people employed. And the uh, portfolio of products is from sports betting to casino to our own original content to pretty much uh, every tool that you need to succeed in the online and in the retail nowadays. Okay, thank you very much. So could you please tell us more about uh, your company's focus for 2022 and for the upcoming year as well? Okay, I mean, for 2022, I think it's, uh, it's uh, public knowledge nowadays because we put out our uh, reports, uh, quarterly reports, uh, since this year. So it's very transparent from our side. We have grown quite a lot uh, and uh, we have continued signing strategic partnerships. Uh, two most commonly used, uh, uh, basically, solutions that we provide is our casino engine and our sports book. But then apart from that, we have been developing and pivoting our products in order to meet the demand on the market. Because if you stuck with what you have and you don't adapt, then you're pretty much dead in the water, as we say. Yes. So we continue to evolve. So let's say for um, this year, we introduced Slot Matrix, uh, which is our uh, game aggregation solution without any platform fees that gives you access to 200 vendors uh, you know, in an instant, uh, along with all the jackpots, all the bonusing, everything that is included in the, in, in the whole package. And this is something that we're looking forward to. Apart from that, major thing that I want to highlight in 2022 is that uh, we have made uh, significant strides in the retail segment of our sportsbook. So, Nowadays, we are a truly omni-channel company, and uh, for 2023, we plan on making a bigger impact with this as well. So, everybody has been recognizing us as the go-to player for the online. When you need a solution for the online, you come to every matrix. Uh, but nowadays, we are spreading to the retail channel as well. And of course, coming to this uh, exhibition makes sense because it's very much omni-channel. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, you told us about the slot matrix. But what are other products that um, like you would like to put um, and to put um, like emphasize on okay. the ex exhibition so here? For us, the yes. main focus of our stand yes. right now in uh, BG is uh, the content. Okay. So we have our in-house studios, uh, uh, Spearhead and Armadillo, which are developing unique custom content, basically unique games that are making their ways uh, throughout the world. We have launched recently with the biggest brands in the uh, US. We have been steadily growing the base of uh, our customers and we have seen a very good reception from the players as well. So our main focus on our stand, if you come and visit, will be our content and uh, we also do our, our our rgs has been used by about 15 different studios right now so this is a growing segment for us and we, we are putting a lot of investment and a lot of emphasis on it and we believe it's uh, actually showing the strength and actually it's a very competitive market uh to create your own content to create your own games uh, but we believe we have that little bit of an x factor that you need to make your games pop out and succeed yes okay thank you very much and why would you say that this event is important for your company? Well, I think, listen, I think uh, the whole region is something that's been the driver for innovation globally. Although it's maybe not publicly dis uh, discussed yeah. in a way, but if you take the, the region of Balkans and the amount of people that are contributing on the product side of things, on the business side of things globally, not only Europe-wise, it's actually pretty staggering. So I think for us to be here is a must. Uh, of course, when you see all of these companies that are based here in Bulgaria and that are exposing here, uh, it's pretty much obvious that we need to be here. I mean, we got offices in 10 different countries. Bulgaria is not one of them, unfortunately, not yet. Not yet, <laughs> yeah. yes. But uh, 
I mean, we've got a lot of partnerships going on in the region, and I think it's important to uh, showcase. For next year, we're planning to even increase the foot footprint uh, by presenting the omnichannel uh, solution in an even bigger spotlight. So I think uh, we'll be coming here, uh, you know, quite often uh, from here on in. Okay, let's hope so. <laughs> and my last question for you, Ivan, is how do you see the future of the gambling industry? Like, what are the most important trends that will shape the gaming industry? Okay, I mean. This might be a very vague opinion because yes. a very high level. I used to work in uh, telecommunications before mm, okay. I switched on to uh, iGaming. Uh, and I've had that experience of working at highly regulated, very mature industries such as telecommunications, like banking as well. But what I've seen in the last five years or so, that a lot of people are changing from those very mature, very stagnant industries nowadays onto these uh, very progressive, and very high growth industries like ours. Uh, and the effect of that has been tremendous because now when you look at it from a global perspective, with US opening up in 2018, uh, with all the discussions about Brazil, with uh, the movements in India and even China in some parts, it's staggering that actually our industry has been properly regulated in a very small proportion of our entire population. So the growth is there, not only in new markets, new regions, but also in existing regions. Uh, what I like to always kind of emphasize that I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure what's not going to happen. Okay. And I think that the players are not going to say, okay, I love your product, but I, I wish that it was a bit slower to load. Uh, or, you know, I, I love yes. your product, but I, I would wish that I have less options. So players are enjoying the industry. They have a regulated landscape in most of the countries, thankfully nowadays, to responsibly engage in, in, in entertainment as they should. And I think this is the foundation that uh, we need to ride on in the future. So um, I'm not sure what can change and what, what will change, but one thing is for certain, the people mentality and the player mentality is going to be there and they want to be entertained. So it's our duty and our responsibility to fulfill that uh, and to experiment in different ways to make that happen eventually. You know? yes, that's a such a nice answer. Thank you very much Thank for you. coming to this interview and doing it. It was a pleasure talking to you. Likewise, likewise. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.